Hello, it's been a while because I had to take a week off due to an unprecedented heat wave that drove temperatures here in the Bay Area well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit for an entire week, an event that is so unprecedented that many people here, myself included, don't even have air conditioning because we haven't needed it for the past 300 years of perfect weather. So thanks, boomers. What an excellent planet you've left us. This is this is fun. Anyway, that's all in the distant past. And now we can officially enter the greatest season, spooky season, autumn, uh, aka the time of the year when I can more easily buy the decorations that I will leave out in my house all year long. And this year, it's not just biologically impossible frog skeletons and eyeball test tubes that I'm looking forward to. I'm also excited because it's time for a brand new COVID booster. I know I have weird things that get me excited, but you know, really I've been looking forward to this for so long, a booster shot that targets the current mutation of SARS-CoV-2, which I have long hoped would finally allow me to relax and do the things that I used to like to do, like attend conventions, or let's be honest, sit inside a smoky room and drink and play poker. Seriously, I know it's stupid, but I miss Vegas so much. I was so looking forward to these boosters that I accidentally forgot the lessons that I thought I learned in late 2020. Don't get your hopes up. Uh, we aren't getting back to normal. Normal is dead. Long live normal. So yeah, this video, unfortunately, will not be quite as celebratory as I would have liked. But first, let's start with the good news. Yes, the new booster shots are now available here in the United States, and they will probably keep you safe this fall and winter when COVID is expected to once again spike. You can find out where to get your booster. You can go to vaccines.gov, put in your zip code. Please do it. Get your booster. Get it now. This is a, a bivalent booster, which means that it's actually two shots in one, kind of. Um, both the Pfizer and the Moderna versions will contain instructions for your immune system to defend you from the original strain of SARS-CoV-2 and the current mutations uh, known as BA4 and BA5 Omicron. For those of you in Europe and Canada, your booster will cover the original strain and then the BA1 Omicron variant because there's more data on that from human trials. The, U the U.S. is uh, hoping that despite having less data on BA4 and 5, targeting them might provide more protection than targeting BA1. That said, you know, none of this is new or scary. Uh, yes, the people who have been scared of vaccines for the past two years will probably continue to be scared of these boosters, and they will probably claim that there's not enough research and it's dangerous and blah, blah, blah. They're wrong, as always. Bivalent vaccines have been around for a while. The HPV vaccine contains several different mutations. Uh, researchers even developed a nine-valent HPV shot in 2015. They are safe and effective. But that brings me to the not great news. <laughs> the data on the human trials for the European and Canadian vaccines aren't great. Yes, this booster should perform better than the original boosters. And yes, it should prevent severe illness and death. But it's just not the time machine that's going to take us back to 2019 for a big do over. The BA1 bivalent boosters just aren't blowing away researchers. And we already know that a significant portion of the population isn't going to get boosted at all. That means the virus is going to continue to mutate in the unvaccinated po population, uh, and it means it will continue to mutate in unpredictable ways, and occasionally those mutations will find ways to get around our vaccines. Combine that with the fact that many governments, including my own here in the United States, have simply given up. You know, last week, Anthony Fauci gave a briefing at the White House. In that briefing, they suggested that we're pretty much ready to institute an annual COVID vaccine, much like the current influenza vaccine schedule. Let me be clear, we are in no way ready for that. In no way. 
the flu vaccine, first of all, varies in effectiveness year to year, but the aim is usually to hit around 40%. That's enough to save the lives of many elderly and immunocompromised people, but it's not enough to say, allow those people to live quote unquote normal lives during flu season without risking severe disease or death. And to hit that 40%, researchers have a number of things going in their favor. The flu is seasonal. Uh, It occurs reliably in the winter months. The flu has been studied for decades. We have a lot of data on it. The flu evolves in a ladder-like fashion that enables researchers to take a good educated guess as to how it's going to evolve next year. As Dr. Caitlin Jettelina points out in her excellent newsletter, COVID has none of those traits. Um, While the flu vaccine only needs to get you through the next few months of winter, COVID is with us year round. So a vaccine that starts to wane in six months is not good enough. It also mutates four times faster than the flu and in an unpredictable way, meaning that researchers can't take a good guess at what it's going to do next. So to wrap up, the boosters probably aren't great, but you should still get one. And we're quite a ways off from annual COVID vaccines. But I'll end with a little bit more good news. There are currently more than a dozen nasal vaccines in development, which will directly target your mucus. The mucus in your nose and throat uh, and in the rest of your body, that's your immune system's first line of defense against infections. So a vaccine that targets mucus won't just prevent severe illness and death, but it will actually stop infection itself. There are also vaccines in development that hope to be mutation-proof, fighting all COVID strains at one time. And most recently, I've been hearing about several different groups of researchers who are developing universal coronavirus antibodies. That's not a vaccine because antibodies only last a short period of time in your system, like a few weeks maybe. But it is a promising new treatment that could help patients recover from a particularly bad illness quickly. One of those groups of researchers is at Boston Children's Hospital, by the way, which is still getting bomb threats from transphobes who are angry that the hospital provides gender-affirming care. So yeah, that's a fun way that our various dystopias are interacting. Anyway, normal may no longer be within reach, but a new, not so horrible normal is. So please get your booster, continue wearing a mask inside in public spaces, and keep yourself and those around you as healthy as possible so we can all enjoy spooky season together.